Hey, my name's Reverie and welcome to episode 3 of my Minecraft survival series. In today's episode I want to go caving, uh, specifically in that big cave that we found last time, because um, I think now I've got some iron I can get geared up better and have a chance of surviving. Um, after that do some resource gathering as always, and then finally for our build uh, I'm going to start on the village transformation, which I'm very excited to do, and I will be building the village inn. So I am really looking forward to all of that, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So before we actually go anywhere, I need to get geared up desperately and, you know, bring a bed with me, make sure i got all my food. I think I've, I've got enough food. Well, enough food. I've got some uh, potatoes cooking, but I'm going to grab one of my beds. And I'm going to go downstairs and get all my like iron sorted, get it into tools because this is not going to do. <laughs> I'm going to get some armor on. And yeah, once that's all crafted up and I'm ready to go, I'm just going to head straight down and hope that I don't die. Because I have 27 levels, <laughs> I'd really like to keep them because, you know, enchanting would be nice. Alright, so I've got 53 iron on me and I'm going to see how much armor I can make with that. I'm not great at math, so I have no idea. Alright, so I managed to get the full set, there we go, and some tools, uh, a few extras as well, just in case I need them, and I'm going to bring, oh, I'm going to bring a bit of iron with me, it's nine, okay, and with that, I believe we are all set, hopefully, I'm going to, I'm going to bring more wood, I'm paranoid, uh, I'll bring some cherry. Heading down to the unofficial official mine. Uh, I haven't got all the way to the bottom because basically at the bottom there is a massive drop off and it just goes to deep dark. So I am, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> but I've got some strip mines around iron level, which is, I mean, it should be, yes, over here. And this is how we got to the caves. All right, there it is. Oh, I, yeah, uh, didn't make torches. That's make 40 to be safe okay let's see where should we go i'm thinking heading down because you know it'd be nice to get some diamonds um i did yeah i i said that i wasn't gonna um come into this cave last time but i kind of did i saw some iron and i kind of wanted it um but i did not go too too much further i saw a zombie and i was like nah oh my god i haven't gone cave like properly caving in so long that I've, I've just go, i'm just gonna completely freeze i have no idea what to do Oh no, okay, there are two of them. Okay, this is not gonna end well. Ah, I can't sprint, no. No, please. Okay, well, if I can get them to shoot each other. Not enjoying this, there's definitely gonna be a creeper coming like behind me or something. Oh no. Ah. Okay, I don't think they can get me if I'm in here. It might mean that I might drown, but that, that's okay. That's better than um, that's better than the uh, other option. There is one reason that I want this redstone, and that is it. You just saw it on the screen. That is the only reason. I'm sick of building interiors and having no idea what time it is because I build such small windows. Other than that, do not expect me to do any redstone. It will not be happening. Oh my god, okay. I can't tell if it looks like the cave sort of ends or if there's going to be like a bigger cave going down there. Um. <laughs> yes, okay, it goes into a bigger area. I'm pretty sure this will go down to deep dark where my original mine sort of goes. Um, so not particularly looking forward to that. Um, I mean, I guess at least it means mobs won't spawn. Managed to stumble into some caves and I don't know how deep these are going to go but I mean honestly it's safer in here than in the the big cave so oh I should have been doing the placing it on the right or left hand side so I know where I am I it's fine I have a fantastic sense of direction <gasps> okay I should not do oh my god i why did i decide to do this i am not careful enough 
I bet that I'm gonna die to like some really stupid way where instead of like having a, I guess like an honorable death of at least fighting something I'm I'm just gonna fall down something uh, but it looks like we are entering big cave here but lava so I'm not gonna remember how to get back up there but we have entered a bigger cave I just end oh diamonds yay Okay, I think that's just going to be two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that can just be two. But that is, at least I've got something. I profited somewhat off of this experience, adventure. Oh, I'm honestly kind of disappointed this wasn't like a bigger cave. But it does mean that I've had like little enough time in here that I do remember how to get back. So that's good. Okay, I'm not really sure where to go from here. I mean, not only do I not really know because I don't really know the way back but also i mean this was kind of a bust all right i think that wraps up this cave but i'm gonna go and try and get down to the uh, deep dark level that i discovered further down the mine and see how that goes okay so as you can see down oh my god i removed the block oh my okay no i i almost actually genuinely did just die Okay, um, there, now I can look, but I cannot go in. Oh, yeah, it is, oh my god, is that an ancient, oh no, 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 no. I think that's an ancient city rendering in, and I have never been in one of them, ever. Oh, okay, is there an actual cave on that side? Okay. That makes me feel better but okay that is horrifying and we will not be going in that direction at all oh diamonds okay i think i can probably maneuver my way around there and yes okay that is oh no 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 <laughs> maybe not maybe not and i do not want this to just be like five minutes of me just holding shift and moving as slowly as possible. Just one. That's fine. Honestly, like, as cool as this whole, like, deep dark stuff is, and the ancient cities look really cool, I'm gonna up the render distance a bit there, so I can see it. But as, as cool as all of this is, it is kind of annoying how much the deep dark seems to take up every bit of, like, underground area. Because I don't know if it's just me, but on, like, every world that I've made, where I've gone immediately directly under my base, there's some sort of, like, massive deep dark thing. And it means I just can't go, like, caving, because I'm terrified. I mean, I'm already terrified going caving, but, like, when you add all the stuff that could, like, really actually kill me... It, it sort of, it makes it less fun, in my opinion. Maybe that's just... It's just my style of gameplay. Like, yeah, I think that a, a bit of challenge is good, but when it's so much that it just means that it's like a pain to get stuff, it can, yeah, it can get a bit much. I know that logically the better way to go mining for diamonds is strip mining, but like, that's boring, I want to explore. The whole part of this Minecraft, you know, the whole Caves and Cliffs update, even though there was a few updates ago, it was... You know, it's to explore. Oh, see? More diamonds. And it, honestly, it's a lot more rewarding when you're, like, just stumbling around in a cave and then you find diamonds than if you're, like, strip mining. In my opinion, anyway. I guess the only upside is that mobs can't spawn in here, so I'm pretty much safe. Well, as safe as I can be in the deep dark. So, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess it's a double-edged double sword, if that's the correct expression i'm not sure wow yeah i've never actually seen an ancient city for myself i don't think it looks cool and i will come back to it at some point i don't want to say in the near future because it will not be in the near future with the rate that i progress at but sometime in the future it'd be cool to explore i think oh, thank god there's more than one because i was going to say like you know all the effort for just one that is probably about it for this cave having diamonds. I've got eight, and I've got another eight back at my house. Oh, is this a cave? 
Okay. The caving adventure is not over just yet. Oh, I thought it was diamonds. I got tricked. And there are other creatures about. I can hear them. <gasps> A spawner. No way, no way. Wait. Oh no, is it going to be spiders? No, I think it's spider spawner. That's a shame. But, hopefully I can get some cool stuff in here. Let's see what we got in here. Wow. Some, I mean, okay, there's, there's some music discs, I guess. Gold, golden apple. Ooh, melon seeds. Exciting. Please have a saddle. No saddle, but horse armor. Eh, I'll take, I'll take it. I am going to take the coordinates for this quickly. I'm acting like I have any idea how to set up a mob farm from this. I do not, but I can learn, maybe. I hear stuff, but I don't see anything. So what's up here? Is this a big cave that I've already been in? Oh, okay. No, 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 never mind. I, do, I don't care anymore. I do, I do not care anymore. I'm not interested. I am not getting a creeper dropping on my head and then sneaking up on me. I'm just going to mine out this maybe possibly vein. And then using my inventory room as an excuse, I'm going to head back up. I have to get back down. Yay. I remembered that I had to do that, and I also remembered that I brought water with me. Alright, that's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, we're finally back up, and these are the spoils. I'm gonna go put them away, and honestly I'm probably just gonna head straight back down to the mines off camera and do some material gathering. I mean, I'm gonna check how much I have right now to see if I need to get anything. Yes, I definitely need to get anything. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that and then get back to you guys when I have. Alright, so I just got back from collecting all the materials. Hopefully it's enough. Um, it's basically similar or well, same build powers as last time and I've collected a lot more than what I did the previous two buildings, so hopefully it's enough. But as you can see, we are in the village um, where I will be building the inn in this house right here. Um, before I get to the details on what I'm building, I'm gonna need to terraform because the terrain's looking kind of rough. <laughs> um, also, turns out there was a church here that I missed, but sadly it's going to have to be buried. But yes, I will get back to you after I have done the terraforming. So I've pretty much run out of dirt completely. Uh, I think I might have some more at the house, but this is fine for now. Um, this is going to be more of a continuous off-camera project of filling it in while I can, when I have the materials. But for now, I think this is pretty good. But I mean, now you can sort of walk around without having to be scared that you're going to fall down somewhere. Which, you know, that was the main goal. Uh, I might do some more trimming back, just again, off-camera. But, so, for the build, I'm just going to run through my plans what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and all of that stuff. So as you can see, this is like a natural entrance into the village because you've got, you know, all this open space here. So there's nothing blocked off with a dead end. Like at the end of that valley, you wouldn't have the entrance on the other side of the village because all the way down that valley is like a dead end. But here you've got space that way, space that way, um, which I'm probably going to build like little villages and towns down here. So to also make lots of roads. Um, so this would be like a natural opening for the village. And also, you've got the two sides going up, so it's already pretty well defended. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to build up proper defences because it's just a small village. But this is going to be like the main entrance, which is going to be the inn. Uh, I'm going to show a picture of the sketch that I planned out. Uh, it's just a rough sketch and yeah, it's going to be similar materials and style to what I've built already, just because that's like the region's theme. Uh, but I want to maybe accentuate the gothic medieval style of things. <laughs> like I said, there's not going to be many defences, but I will be 
putting lots of fields and hedges to sort of make a line between, you know, village and not village, uh, but not in like a particularly defensive way. Uh, I'm going to think about what this village does. Um, so whether that be farming or mining, um, I mean, it, if it could be mining, there's quite a few caves around here, but for now I'm just going to do the inn and think about that stuff while I'm doing that. Um, and from thinking about that, I can then theme other builds around that stuff, but the village will have, you know, its standard buildings like residential houses and bakery and butchers, all that stuff. But starting off with the inn, it's going to be the biggest building and it's probably... It might take up both of these houses actually thinking about it. Uh, I want to, when I'm building houses in this village, I want that, I want to have them like take up the space that they actually take up in the village so I don't want to like build over here or something I want to keep true to the village layout despite the fact that I buried the church I feel I feel like that's some sort of bad sign <laughs> but maybe I'll rebuild it maybe I'll rebuild it maybe I can rebuild some ruins or something just outside it's a sort of pay an homage to it or something yeah so I'm gonna get building that and I will jump into a time lapse so I wanted to come in and talk over what I'm doing here, just because you may see that there are some continuity errors. You can see that things are jumping around, uh, things being built up and then destroyed. And that's because for some reason I had a pretty tough time with this build. I don't really know why. It's a pretty simple structure. Maybe I just didn't plan it out well enough. But as you can see, there is guidelines in place for me to build a tower. I did not build it because I just could not get it right, whether that be the palette or the shape, anything. I just couldn't get it right, so I decided to cut it out completely, but I recorded all that footage, but because, again, I'm cutting it all out, I've just cut out the footage, so if you see things jumping around, that's why. Okay, so I've got all the building done and also all the landscaping done. Uh, I've just done a rough path and some setting into the landscape, like what I've done with the other stuff. And yeah, I've added quite a lot of grass. I don't know if I'll take this, all, take this out at some point, but right now it sort of makes it look like maybe no one really comes here often. Um, I'll build up more story stuff as we go on. But that is the build done and as you can tell I have <laughs> finally got around to installing Optifine. So I'm pretty happy about that. But yes, I'm pretty happy with it, even if it was a bit of a challenge to get all done. But yes, next time we will be doing some more cool stuff. Um, starting off with this building and getting some fields in would be nice. Um, I'll do some more terraforming off camera. And yes, also apologies if I sound quiet and stuff. I'm back in UV and I don't want to be too loud because I forget how if people can hear me or not. I don't like talking to myself out loud or around people. Um, so hopefully that's okay. I'm sure I'll get more confident. But yes, that is the build. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And goodbye.